In 2017, during a lecture at Stanford School of Medicine, our CEO, Dr. Sean Kozin, then at the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, outlined a systems science model of drug development. He described how clinical outcomes could inform preclinical models, creating a feedback loop capable of generating predictive, human-relevant simulations that can eliminate reliance on animal testing. So what is the systems view of this world? Well, it's not as linear. And when you look at it from the systems uh, science perspective, the lines start to blur. Uh, we are already using systems biology approaches to blur the line between preclinical and the clinical phase. And by doing that, we can take patient outcome data from clinical trials, feed it back into a preclinical phase of drug development to build more predictive models. And if we do this right, we can in fact do completely in silico preclinical studies without the need to even uh, uh, do any animal studies. Today, as the FDA advances frameworks for computational and cell-based alternatives, the CEO Roundtable on Cancer supports this shift toward more mechanistic, data-driven science. Through Project Datasphere, we are working with our member companies and partners to accelerate the modernization of cancer drug development, building high-quality, interoperable data sets, developing validated AI tools for imaging, biomarker discovery, and model-based endpoints, and demonstrating how computational reasoning can complement experimentation to improve both efficiency and precision in cancer research and care.